Okay, so we are here, this Tahoe, um, to, driving down the road, all of a sudden a bunch of lights went off, and then after the lights went off, going all crazy, he said that it's acting completely weird, like something very strange, so whatever it is, it's something wiring or something like that, and um, a lot of times I'll, I'll check and see if I can't get one running or see if I can't kind of figure it out while I'm here, but the stuff that stuff that the customer is saying is a is a is a bit is a bit beyond anything that I would be able to comfortably help with without I just don't have the knowledge so at this point you know this when I drop this I give those symptoms to the mechanic and I usually ask the mechanic right hey I mean I know you can't tell me exactly what it is but if with those symptoms what would you think and I'll take that information and I'll remember it and next time I get into a situation like this I'll have some type of double slotted so this is the double slotted oval hole I'm using my baby jake because they're my favorite Same thing on the other side for a straight pull. Good deal. Yeah, they said that it's doing some very strange electrical stuff. And one thing that I've learned when it comes to electrical is if it's like not something simple or basic and you go to messing with stuff, you can make problems worse. My hat says tow truck driver. Um, Although I do take pride in trying to fix things myself when it's not mine, man, I don't, you just don't want to take a chance of messing somebody's stuff up. I was going to check some fuses, but I don't believe, and the relays, but honestly, I don't believe that a relay would be doing what he said that this thing's doing. He said something about it is um, doing like, it'll run, but no lights. So when that's the case, you have no lights. A lot of times I think fuse. And then after he told me that, he had said that when he was driving down the road, every single light started flashing and they all went off. That's just stuff that I'm not necessarily familiar with. Watch the back. Unloading, okay? Yep. Alright. So, throughout these videos, y'all, where I'm going to be doing more trying to communicate and speak with y'all about what I'm doing as I'm doing it because I need to treat this more like what did I want whenever I was watching what do I want whenever I'm watching videos like I want to be I want to be in it I want to be instructed I want to be I want to know why they're doing what they're doing so when the tail's super long which this one's not that way you don't see how this is like this that happens from dragging on the ground so when they're super long you can tuck them back in like that and now we'll put two more on and then uh i have to um i'm gonna try to find out from the mechanic after i tell him what's going on just like hey if you just had to Stuff like this when that happens. Typically, what is the first thing you look for? And I do know that mechanics are a lot like like anybody who repairs anything. You start small and then you go big. Um, but, you know, you get a good mechanic, somebody who's truly seasoned, and they can pretty much tell you stuff. 
over the phone, man. You can get a good mechanic. Man, you'd be amazed at what I've seen hurt mechanics do. And even like we're appliance repair techs. Uh, I know guys that are so good at fixing appliances, they can hear the machine on the phone or they can give you some instructions literally on the phone and find out what's wrong with your machine in a matter of 10, 15 minutes. They can't fix it over the phone sometimes. I mean, sometimes they can, but uh, I can tell you this, there are people out there that are so good at their job, they can do it in their sleep. So, anyway, y'all, if you haven't already, smash that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. All right, Boogie. Yes, I'm not sure where my customer went. I guess he's in a different vehicle. Will you hand me my phone clip? Please. Alright y'all. Give it away. Give it away. Oh, better not be singing though. No. Don't want to get a copyright during my darn video and won't be able to post it because uh singing a song during unloading man oh man all the little things you got to try to think about to make sure your videos can stay posted yep all right so um dropping this one i'm gonna be uploading a video today of me doing one it was a cruise with a flat tire and then the drop-off video. So what I'm about to be starting to do is I'm going to start combining the pickup videos and the drop-off videos all in one, okay? Um, so I'm going to start doing that. I just... Guys, I try to get as, as much as I can to y'all. That was my toes. Um, you guys are actually seeing... The, you know my the most exciting toes that I get for the days you know um, and I know not all these are like super excited but I mean I'm uploading for y'all seven days a week so we can uh, we can have more content on the channel to talk about and to use for referencing or to even um, to even go back and look up look back on in the future I mean I don't even care if it's something I laugh about man I mean I, I'm excited about what it's going to be like in four or five years going back and seeing uh seeing how much differently my approaches have changed and seeing how much um how much growth has happened with the way that i do things as far as the towing and the channel all right Um, if you haven't already guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel I'm uploading towing videos seven days a week guys and it's it's pretty much raw and uncut stuff so it's you see what you get you know it's when you get out here it's what you're gonna be doing it's what you're gonna be saying yourself so thank y'all for watching